It's a nice show and a lovely show to listen to. A lot of winner we get from it and a lot of money we win up here off that show so I give Colin Bear a special shout out and his team for having such a wonderful show going on on YouTube so people from all over the world can come and listen. Good afternoon. Welcome to the Open Gate Show for June 23rd, Sunday, 2024. The Open Gate Show, you subscribe to YouTube, you listen, you hear, you learn, you should win. First race starts approximately 12.30 p.m. and it's nine races. First race goes 800 meters or four furlongs straight. Nine are declared. It's for five of them upwards, optional claiming $150,000 to $180,000. For Nader Bread, six years and up was only one once. And Nader Bread and, uh, was only one once and none winners of a race since February 23rd, 2024. Number one, Schlesinger came off a two month break and failed at 8 to 5. That was on the 23rd of May, going this third distance of four for them straight. Um, up with the lead, but Wheaton to be fifth, nine and a quarter length, and beautiful brand, reminiscent Boulder and Matriarch. Beautiful brand and Matriarch is back in this race. Gets back Roger Hewitt, who, who won aboard he on the 23rd of March. Number three, Ness Percy uh, didn't look all that comfy returning to the Saturn enclosure. The last time he raced, that was on the 19th of May, finishing third, ten and three quarter lengths behind Noble Impulse and just an illusion. Got to figure it back and he ran well with fame in the past. And um, I'm expecting an improved display on this person. Number six, Galway Bay did he need a good race on June the eighth? Maybe. Number eight, Matriarch should be in the low exotics. Number nine, beautiful brand. One under an unfortunate circumstances on the twenty third of May. Well, uh, due to uh, the correct weight being incorrect. One by a shorted beating reminiscent bowler in Matriarch, who was five and three quarter length. In third, gets Devin Foster, and that's very interesting. Chicky race, one of these should win. Number three, Miss Percy. Number nine, beautiful brand. Number eight, Matriarch, number one, Schlesinger, number six, Galway Bay. Race two is a restricted allowance five for Nader Bread, five of them up with only one one race. Imported five of up who are maidens are also eligible. Seven declared, 1400 meters or seven furlongs is the journey. Number two, Millennium Star, lost by a nose. Well, it looks to me like a whisker when Radish Roman decided to, uh, to, to chase the speed last out. The rider surely knows her better now and running against some who competed in that June 8 race. Millennium Star is nicely in at the handicaps, even though in front of those who she better mm, Sesame Street handicapping as is projected once again. Number three, Blue Sky, been getting very long odds in the tote all uh, the time, and that suggests she has uh, many issues because there's no stable confidence. 
did was run us out. Only needs to return, well, only needs to return a display and last to have a winning chance. Now, in the safe hands of Kevin Foster. Number five, Ahmad Ali making his fifth start in approximately one month. Mm, well, it's your choice, not mine, to have the force to win. Number six, last dance or effort last out was good when the speed collapsed badly. Not from the 8th of June, going six furlongs. Was way off the pace behind. Number two, Millennium Star even. And closed well when the speed collapsed. Um, Millennium Star was in front of her last twice they met. Number two, Millennium Star, due to Roman can rely on her versatility. Number three, Blue Sky. Number six, Last Dance. Race three, it's a restricted alone three. Algebra I made about 5,000 up was only won three races, and imported 5,000 up was only won twice. Eight declared. Seven furlongs or 1,400 meters, they go. Number two, Power Fate. Worked okay on the 15th of June. Um, galloping 7 for only 134 and 2 fifths. Lay sixes on again. Number three, Storm Come. May, may contest the lead and making it uncomfortable for some in this race. Number four, aka Storm, is going two kilos overweight for the services of Ray and Lewis. One with E at this exact distance on the 14th of April beating Special Gift and uh, Sneaky Joe. Number five great trick has, well, won't, shouldn't have an excuse tomorrow as he will be more focused than last time. That was on the 19th of May going six and a half furlongs. Uh, in, a, in a tough field. And run evenly to be six and a half and third. There are no more deals and whiskey. Robert Halladin was on board then. He remains. Number six, Brown to Malex. One of two here for Trader and Derby. The other is number seven, Salad. Who gets Reddish Roman? Number eight, Anika Ball. Another going two kilos of weight for her rider, Shane Richardson. Well, this rider. Won with her easily the last time Anika Bell was at the races. Number five, though. Great trick from number four, aka Storm. Number eight, Anika Bell. Number seven, Salad. Fourth race has ten declared. Five from straight or a thousand meters straight. So, children up, optional claiming three hundred to four hundred thousand dollars. Six children up was only won three races are the one that are eligible for this. Number two, Queen Zan, meeting number six, Monaco, who she she bettered last out. Um, Queen Zan facing a bit of competition this time, but can get in the top three. Number three, no surrender. Thought he would have done better last time. 15th of June, going six furlongs. Didn't run no race, finishing seven, nine and a half lengths behind Victoria Medallion's Uncle Phil and Genealogy. Fitted now and can get in the top four. Number four, Deep Choice, lover of the straight route, and it's very, very light, should get an exotic spot. A high one, more than likely. Number five, Mekomura, 57 kilos, and Radish Roman. Is busy on the exercise track since the start of June after running against far, far better. Number six, Monaco, Kevin Foster, rides again. Could get an exotic placing. Number seven, delayed again. Not much or no experience out this straight route, but did well at the uh, at 
at this price tag on the last two occasions. Um, he was there. Number eight, Rocket Lily. Rocket against these for the first four furlongs, yes. Maybe. Uh, could hold a top three slot. Again, um, being a bit fitter. Top four. Number five, Nakamura. Number eight, Rocket Lily. Number four, his choice. Number three, that's no surrender. Number eight, sorry, number two, Queen Zan, and number six, Monaco, should be part of the lower order. Number five, 1,400 meters or seven furlong. It's a restricted little one, five, for native bird, furls it up with only one once, and imported furls it up who remains the maiden are the ones that are starting. 11 declared. Number two, Sister D, this US import, failed at start and came back off that sudden and ran twice with Radish Roman with good tote support. Both those races didn't show much. Should be fitting now and getting first time visor for this and um, an easy to scale with apprentice Richard Henry. Number three, always right, all in her form well, uh, getting on the board in eight of her last ten starts. Number five, Sir Wong Don is stretching out. Number six, Pete Sinkin Khan, being active at exercise since his last race on the 8th of June. Number seven, Tiger Midat won pace the last time, that was on the 18th of May. Going a mile and got lots of support two to one, ran evenly to and passing third one to get the second place behind Empress Lynx. Had number three always right two lengths behind he. I made Slam Dunk last twice were very, very poor. Number nine, Ed Fun, getting first time late six and the figure eight after weakening in a couple of, uh, of his last races. Looks a prime candidate for both equipment. And Ken Richard Rich, raw bone cord who is coming off a sudden and working well. His issue has been corrected, seemingly. Number 11, Joblaine gets Stephen Foster and should have a say. I'm selecting number 10, Rich is Rich. From number... number Seven, Tiger Medad. Number nine, it's Crawford third. Number two, Sister D, interested horse. And number 11, Job Lane. We are three, six, where 11 were declared. Five and a half for long, 1,100 meters. It's a restricted allowance three. For native bird, four and up was only one three races. An imported four and up was only one price. Number one, money market has speed and will have to use the same to have a chance from this inside post. I've been looking a, a bit better since the stable change from Ryan Darby to Gary Sobrati since the March run. Number two, also Anthony gets Stephen Foster and first time Tom Tai. Number five, California Gold did well against Ferris Soul. On the 1st of June, going six and a half furlongs close and looked challenging, but ended up third, two and a half lengths behind um, Fabulous. Fabulous Soul. Uh, box, box Box was half a length in front of California Gold. Came back in subsequent start, got lots of support, and didn't do much. Up with the speed and weakened to be fifth, 11 and a half lengths behind Paul from above, Brown Skin Girl and Awesome Anthony, who is here once again. Number seven, Major Deja, came off a long hiatus and ran once this season after break. Change stable, well, and that loan start in 2024, the 6th of April, 31 to 1, 5 for them straight, got, uh, finished 4 and 3 quarter and 6 to rejected Raja. 
Princess Amy and Huntsman, Princess Amali and Huntsman, has been in Philipsiani's barn nearly two months now and working well as well as looking well too. Number eight Huntsman, Trina Griffiths, seems to have this one sorted out, as evident last twice he ran. Number 11, Legit Boss, very unpredictable. Number 7, though, Major Danger, from number 2, Awesome Anthony. Number 5, California Gold. Number 8, Huntsman. Number 1, Money Market. We are at race. Eight, is it? No, sorry, race seven. And it's the main condition race for Native Red Chill Philly, section one. Seven declared for the six and a half furlongs or 1300 meters event. Number one, Tiffany Blue should improve on the debut run. 23rd of May, going five furlongs round. 29 to one, ran even it for the fifth, nine and a half length band, Warsaw and company. Been stepped up at exercise and a positive rider change from Rudolf Page to Robert Halliday. Number two, Rachel Manning, looked for useful filly, uh, gets first time Lasix and Omar Walker returns, stretching out. Number four, Princess Siani, well deserved rest, although short from the races and here with a decent chance for the foster family connections. Number five, the Ryan Diva could get an exotic spot. Number seven, Hamaya, another do, uh, could get an exotic spot. My selection, number four, Princess Fiani, from number two, Rachel Manning, number one, uh, Tiffany Blue. The penultimate race, race eight, going six and a half furlongs or 1,300 meters. It's a major condition race for Native Red Phillies alone. Section two of the seventh of race seven. Number one, she's adorable. Quickly showed improvement in second career start. First start was the 19th of May. Uh, finished nine forty and a half lengths. That's the debut. Came back 1st of June and ran much improved. Going five and a half furlongs. Uh, first time on the turn and closed rapidly to be three quarter length second to Queen of Soul. Had Toronado Steve behind. If that trajectory continues, he surely can win now. And before right then, blinkers are off and tongue tie and the figure eight. Um, plus the six is on. Uh, yeah, and those equipment, those additions are on. But when trainer Fernando Geddes, he's a very good trainer. Never forget that. Number five, she's Dallas Love, coming off a brief respite. And second in both career starts. Looks mood this morning when cantering. And um, really, he looked a very fit horse. Number six, Salas did well against a weak set, stretching out, going two turns with first time Lasix. Coming back now. And uh, the rider, Yuri Pinnock, who has been on this horse, in all her career starts, stays. Number eight, so beautiful, gets Radish Roman, now going on the curve route. Number nine, on the clear war, been taken to task on the exercise track since that last race, well, which was her debut on the 19th of May, when she finished. Not on the and sis, yeah, on this road, it's just around just from baby and, and company. Um, hoping to, de to declare war, it seems, but, you know, you can declare war and just be brave. Let's see. First time day six for the second cover start for this filly. Number five, she's a Dallas Love. Number one, she's a Durbel. Number four, Ratnam. Number six, Solace. Number nine, on the clear war.
Feature race for tomorrow's car, the Millard Zaidi Memorial Cup. Millard Zaidi, one of the best trainers since came to Park at Open. He did very well, extremely well in Jamaica, and went to Venezuela and did just as well, and was therefore inducted into the Hall of Fame there. This race is an overnight allowance for children up, 11 declared, 5.5 furlongs or 1100 meters. Number one, Ranik and Bengali look a bit better of late. Saw the source this morning, cantering and looked okay. The visor has returned. Number two, God of Love back after a break and gets Ren Lewis. Number three, KP's Choice. Speed of sort, but 57 kilos going on the, on the turn. Mm -hmm. Number four, Fairy Soul. One of two potent entries for trainer Felix Fiani. Getting his act together now. The trainer has been very patient with he. Although bred to get uh, uh, more favorable distance beyond six furlongs, can still win. Number five, Freedom Street. Came off a hiatus on the 2nd of June going five furlongs straight. Got good support, five to one, surprisingly, and ran surprisingly well. Staying on to be fourth. Four lengths behind stable mate Joyce Gold. Um, Fred the Great was third, press conference was fourth. If, uh, well, it should be a dangerous horse, you know. No fitter. Number six, Chocomo, U.S. importy, who won three of five career starts, all sprinting. The two time he lost was going um, seven furlongs and uh, seven furlongs and, and seven and a half. Should have to say, as improvement is possible. Number nine, Milos showed, well, Milos, that's how it's pronounced, showed surprise speed last out. On the 25th of May, going five and a half furlongs, was up on the lead, took it up at a furlong point and flattened a bit to get second three lengths behind inspired force who is here in this race. Kevin Foster, he stays. Number 10, inspired sports, highly thought of in the early, especially by the open gate show, but due to some issues that impacted his career hasn't shown its true potential as yet. Wouldn't surprise me if he beat these though. I'm selecting number 10 in inspired force. From number four, stable made fearless sewer. Number five, Freedom Street. Number six, that's Chakamo. Number nine, uh, Malos. Take care. All the best. Good luck.